and welcome to a new episode of The Fat Vegan Chef. Today I am recreating and re-imaging one of my favorite dishes at a now defunct restaurant that I used to work at back in my previous life. And it is wild mushroom strudel with Madeira wine sauce. I hope you make this recipe for your family and enjoy it as much as I do. The fun part about this recipe is going out and finding the mushrooms. I suggest looking at your local Asian restaurant. They usually have a lot of different mushrooms to choose from. And I bought just about every mushroom that they have. You may or may not want to do this, but I I would suggest at least getting portobello mushrooms, porcinis, shiitakes, creminis, and oyster mushrooms at the very least. Also please use fresh mushrooms and not frozen because freezing the mushrooms will cause them to lose all of their flavor. And like I said, I did go wild and I got probably about 11 or 12 different mushrooms for this recipe. And you don't necessarily need to do this, keep it to the classics and you should be good. Now let's go ahead and go foraging for the tools and ingredients that we're going to need to make this recipe, grab your piece of paper and your pen, and let's get started. The tools that you're going to need to make this dish are a cutting board with a damp toner in it, a knife, measuring cups and measuring spoons, pastry brush, a bowl, a mixing spoon, a spatula, a baking pan, a towel that we're gonna dampen, cast iron skillet, and a big cooking pot. You also need a blender and a strainer. The ingredients that you're going to need to make the wild mushroom strudel is two cups of unsalted raw cashews, a quarter cup of nutritional yeast flakes, half an ounce of dried wild mushrooms plus a couple of pinches, two cups of vegetable stock plus as needed, two cups of mushroom stock, a pinch of black and white pepper, a pinch of salt, a pinch of grains of paradise, and a pinch of red pepper flakes. You also need one earth balance stick, two tablespoons of extra virgin olive oil, two pounds of mixed wild mushrooms that have been roughly chopped, a quarter cup of minced shallots, two tablespoons of minced garlic, one teaspoon of sea salt, plus we'll need more to taste, one half teaspoon of fresh ground pepper plus to taste, two tablespoons of grains of paradise, one quarter teaspoon of red pepper flakes, one teaspoon of fresh thyme leaves that's been taken off the stem, one cup of Madeira wine, an eight ounce package of vegan cream cheese, phyllo dough, breadcrumbs that are either store bought or made fresh. I actually made these breadcrumbs fresh. It was pretty easy to do. Three quarters of a cup of melted earth balance. For the Madeira wine sauce, you'll need three tablespoons of earth balance. It's two tablespoons and one tablespoon. We use the one tablespoon to finish the sauce with. One half cup of mushroom mixture, quarter teaspoon of black pepper, a quarter teaspoon of grains of paradise, a quarter teaspoon of sea salt. We may need more to taste. One half teaspoon of minced garlic, one half teaspoon of minced shallots, one quarter teaspoon of fresh thyme leaves, one half cup of Madeira wine, a cup of vegetable and mushroom stock. Do you have all your tools and ingredients gathered up? All right, great. Let's go ahead and make this. First thing we're gonna do is we're going to soak our cashews for 20 minutes. We put our cashews in there and a pinch or so of the mushrooms, a pinch of sea salt, a crank of grains of paradise, a crank of cracked black pepper, add some water until the cashews are being soaked. Then we're gonna let this sit for 20 minutes. So I'll see you back in 20 minutes. It's been 20 minutes. Cashews are done soaking, so I'm gonna go ahead and drain off the water. All right, they're drained. Now I'm gonna go ahead and make a sauce out of these. I'm gonna put these either in a blender or a food processor, and you may wanna do this in several batches. Put half the cashews in there, half of the mushroom and vegetable stock. You can go ahead and put in all the spices if you want, because these are gonna be mixed up anyway. Half of the dried mushrooms, nutritional yeast flakes, let me just go over them again. A total of two cups of the cashew mixture, a total of one fourth cup of nutritional yeast flakes, half an ounce of dried wild mushrooms, one cup of vegetable, or two cups of vegetable stock, two cups of mushroom stock. And that was a pinch of black and white pepper, salt and grains of paradise that I put in there as well. So I'm gonna go ahead and cover this. I'm gonna puree this up until it's a nice sauce. And then I'm gonna repeat it with the remainder of the ingredients. So I will catch you back when this is all done and pureed. I'm back at the stove. I have my pot heating up on medium high heat. I'm gonna add the one stick of earth balance. 
and the two tablespoons of extra virgin olive oil. I'm gonna let the earth balance melt. Earth balance is melted. I'm gonna go ahead and add in two pounds of the mushroom mixture. One teaspoon sea salt, one half teaspoon fresh ground pepper, two tablespoons of grains of paradise, a pinch of red pepper flakes. Also adding in the quarter cup of minced shallots, two tablespoons of minced garlic. I'm gonna go ahead and give this a stir and cook the mushrooms down. The mushrooms are cooked down. Now I'm going to add one cup of Madeira wine and I'm gonna cook this until the wine has reduced at least in half. And this will cook off all the alcohol in it as well if you're concerned about that. Now add your teaspoon of thyme, that's fresh thyme leaves, and your eight ounces vegan cream cheese. Give this a good stir. Now add the cashew mixture. And we're going to cook this until the mixture has reduced and come into a nice thick sauce. This sauce has reduced, so what I'm going to do is take this off the heat and let this cool down, and then we'll go ahead and make the strudel. My mushroom strudel mixture is cool. I have a clean, damp towel, phyllo dough pastries, breadcrumbs, melted earth balance, got a pan over here, and my spatula, and I've also preheated my oven to 400 degrees. So once we have the station set up, we're going to go ahead and assemble this. What you want to do is very carefully take a sheet of phyllo dough, place it on your damp towel, Actually, this one is kind of torn, so I'm going to use another one. Feel it though, damp towel. Take some of your melted earth balance and gently brush the feel it dough. The earth balance is covered the entire thing of phyllo dough. Now I'm going to take some of the breadcrumbs and spread the breadcrumbs on top of the phyllo dough. I'm going to repeat this process five times. Okay, this is layer number five, and I have put the earth balance on it, but none of the breadcrumbs. Now what I'll do is put on a layer of the mushroom strudel, and you want to put it in just one third of the part of the strudel and leave a good inch or two on the edges, and just like that. Now with the damp towel, gently fold the strudel over, Do it the same on the other end. Now fold it over again. And with the towel, use this to kind of help roll the strudel over. Like so. Now go ahead and take your pan and coat the bottom of the pan with earth balance and then carefully place the strudel in the pan. And if it tears, that's okay. That's why there's multiple layers. Now we'll repeat this until we have no more of the filling left. All right, have these in the pan. Now what you wanna do, take some earth balance and put it on top. Now we'll bake this for 20 minutes in the oven or until golden brown. So I'll see you when these are done. This is what they're gonna look like when they're out of the oven. I'm gonna go ahead and let these rest for a few minutes and while they're resting, I'm gonna go ahead and make the Madeira wine butter sauce to put on top of these. So I'll meet you back over at the stove. I have the cast iron skillet on medium, medium high. It's nice and hot. I'm gonna add two tablespoons of earth balance. Let this melt. Now I'm gonna add half a cup of the mushroom mixture, quarter teaspoon of black pepper, quarter teaspoon of grains of paradise, quarter teaspoon of sea salt, half a teaspoon of minced garlic, half a teaspoon of minced shallots, and I'm gonna saute this until the mushrooms are cooked. Mushrooms are nice and cooked, so now I'm going to add half a cup of Madeira wine, and I'm going to let this reduce. The Madeira wine has reduced. Now I'm going to add one cup of vegetable stock and one cup of mushroom stock. I'm gonna bring this up to high, and I'm gonna bring it up to a boil and let this reduce down. Sauce is reduced down. I'm going to add the thyme, stir it in, and let it cook for another minute. And that was one quarter teaspoon of thyme. I have the heat reduced down to a low simmer, so it's just barely bubbling. And I'm going to stir in the one tablespoon of earth balance. And I'm going to cook this until the earth balance is just barely melted into the sauce. The earth balance is just barely melted into the sauce and it's done. I've shut off the heat. Now I'll meet you back over at the counter and we will dish this up. The strudel has rested. I have my sauce ready. I have my plate ready. Now I'm going to cut off a piece here. 
looks like a pretty good portion. I'm gonna carefully plate this like so. Now I'm gonna take some of this good sauce and I'm gonna put it on top. Just like that. Now wasn't that fun to make? It's pretty tasty, isn't it? If you enjoyed making this with me, show me some love by liking and sharing this video with your friends and family and sending a couple dollars my way. You can find out how by going to the Fat Vegan Chef and look for donate or go to my shortened link, tfbc.org forward slash donate. Thank you very much. I can't wait to see you in the next video. And if you made this, let me know. Tag me in your pictures so I can see your creations. Goodbye.